Chocolate is a delicacy enjoyed by many around the world, but for people living with diabetes, the relationship with this sweet treat can be more complicated. Diabetes is a chronic metabolic condition characterized by high blood sugar levels. The most common types of diabetes are type 1, where the body doesn't produce insulin, and type 2, where the body doesn't use insulin effectively. With diabetes affecting millions of individuals worldwide, understanding the impact of diet on this condition is crucial. In this video, we will explore various scientific studies to uncover the relationship between chocolate and diabetes. Chocolate and Insulin Sensitivity A common concern with chocolate consumption among diabetic individuals is its potential impact on insulin sensitivity. However, some studies suggest that dark chocolate may have a positive effect on insulin sensitivity. A study published in the Journal of Nutrition in 2015 examined the effects of dark chocolate consumption on insulin sensitivity in healthy individuals. The study found that participants who consumed 25 grams of dark chocolate daily for 15 days exhibited improved insulin sensitivity and reduced insulin resistance compared to those who did not consume chocolate. Another study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition in 2012 reported similar findings. The researchers discovered that individuals who consumed 45 grams of dark chocolate with a high polyphenol content for 15 days had improved insulin sensitivity compared to those consuming chocolate with a lower polyphenol content. These studies suggest that dark chocolate, particularly with high polyphenol content, may improve insulin sensitivity. However, more research is needed to confirm these findings in people with diabetes. Chocolate and Glycemic Control Glycemic control is essential for individuals with diabetes as it helps prevent complications related to high blood sugar. Some research indicates that chocolate might help with glycemic control. A 2017 study published in the journal Appetite investigated the effects of chocolate consumption on blood glucose levels in individuals with type 2 diabetes. The study participants were divided into two groups, with one group consuming 25 grams of dark chocolate daily and the other group consuming an equal amount of white chocolate. After eight weeks, the group that consumed dark chocolate showed significant improvements in blood glucose levels compared to the white chocolate group. Another study published in the British Journal of Nutrition in 2010 found that consuming dark chocolate with a high cocoa content, 85%, could help lower blood glucose levels in individuals with type 2 diabetes. The participants who consumed 45 grams of high cocoa dark chocolate daily for 12 weeks had lower fasting blood glucose levels and improved glycemic control compared to the control group. These studies indicate that dark chocolate consumption may help with glycemic control in people with diabetes, but further research is necessary to confirm these findings. Chocolate and Cardiovascular Health Individuals with diabetes have a higher risk of developing cardiovascular complications. Several studies have examined the effects of chocolate on cardiovascular health, particularly in the context of diabetes. A 2016 systematic review and meta-analysis published in the British Medical Journal found that moderate chocolate consumption was associated with a reduced risk of cardiovascular events in people with and without diabetes. The study analyzed data from over 20,000 participants and found that those who consumed up to 100 grams of chocolate weekly had a lower risk of developing heart disease and stroke compared to those who didn't consume chocolate. Another study published in the Journal of Nutrition in 2011 examined the effects of dark chocolate on blood pressure and endothelial function in individuals with diabetes. The study found that consuming 25 grams of dark chocolate daily for eight weeks led to significant reductions in blood pressure and improvements in endothelial function, which are both crucial for cardiovascular health. These studies suggest that moderate chocolate consumption, particularly dark chocolate, may have a positive impact on cardiovascular health in people with diabetes. However, it's essential to keep in mind that excessive chocolate consumption can lead to weight gain and other health problems. Chocolate and Inflammation Inflammation plays a significant role in the development and progression of diabetes and its complications. Some studies have explored the potential anti-inflammatory effects of chocolate in relation to diabetes. A study published in the European Journal of Clinical Nutrition in 2014 investigated the effects of dark chocolate consumption on inflammatory markers in individuals with type 2 diabetes. The participants consumed 20 grams of dark chocolate daily for eight weeks. The study found that dark chocolate consumption led to a significant reduction in serum levels of C-reactive protein, an inflammatory marker, compared to the control group. Similarly, a study published in the journal Nutrients in 2018 found that consuming 30 grams of dark chocolate daily for four weeks reduced inflammation markers in people with type 2 diabetes. The researchers attributed these anti-inflammatory effects to the high polyphenol content in dark chocolate. These studies suggest that dark chocolate may have anti-inflammatory properties that could be beneficial for individuals with diabetes. 
However, further research is needed to determine the long-term effects of chocolate consumption on inflammation in people with diabetes. Guidelines for Chocolate Consumption in People with Diabetes Considering the potential benefits of chocolate consumption for individuals with diabetes, it's essential to establish guidelines to ensure that this sweet treat does not negatively impact their health. Choose Dark Chocolate Opt for dark chocolate with a cocoa content of at least 70%, as it is richer in beneficial polyphenols and lower in sugar compared to milk or white chocolate. Consume in moderation. Limit chocolate consumption to small amounts, as excessive consumption can lead to weight gain and elevated blood sugar levels. A daily serving of 20 to 30 grams is generally considered moderate. Monitor blood sugar levels. Individuals with diabetes should monitor their blood sugar levels closely, especially when introducing new foods like chocolate into their diet. Balance with a healthy diet, incorporate chocolate into a balanced, nutrient-dense diet that includes fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains to ensure optimal health. The right dark chocolate for you. So you're ready to buy up your supermarket's inventory of dark chocolate? Not all chocolate is created equal. Remember, it's the polyphenol-rich dark chocolate that contains antioxidants, and the higher percentage of cocoa yields better health advantages. Read the nutrition facts to ensure you're getting most out of the snack. Experts at Bastier recommend choosing dark chocolate that has at least as much fiber as sugar. Also, check if the dark chocolate has been processed with alkali. Opt instead for dark chocolate that has not been processed. Enjoy dark chocolate in moderation. Remember that consuming too much of a good thing may have negative effects. Commercial chocolate may add fat, sugar, and calories to the candy. The Cedars Sinai Medical Center cautions that people with diabetes shouldn't use chocolate as a way to boost low blood glucose, because the fat in chocolate prevents your glucose from rising quickly. As always, consult a medical professional, such as a physician or registered dietitian, before modifying your diet or insulin use. In conclusion, the relationship between chocolate and diabetes is complex, with several scientific studies suggesting that dark chocolate, particularly with a high polyphenol content, may offer benefits for individuals with diabetes. These benefits include improved insulin sensitivity, better glycemic control, enhanced cardiovascular health, and reduced inflammation. However, it's crucial for people with diabetes to consume chocolate in moderation and as part of a balanced diet. Further research is needed to fully understand the long-term effects of chocolate consumption on diabetes and its complications. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.